Hey, what's up, everybody? This is LB, the Realist with Surrealistic Studios, where the realists are real, car edition this time. So I just want to do a quick video. I'm on my way home now, um, and I was reading through some comments that uh, some of my subs left for me. I know you guys are not in agreement with me when it comes to Bill Cosby. I don't know. A lot of you guys are not in agreement, agreement with me when it comes to Bill Cosby. And I just wanted to point out a few um, a few things that, that make me go, hmm. And I wanted to make possibly make you go, hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay. The first thing is, uh, a lot of you guys say like one of my subs, uh, Pat Hacker, what's up, Pat? How you doing? It's all good. We can disagree about stuff and trust me, you're, you're never going to get bitterness or sour from me. I'm all good. You know, I understand that we're different people and we're just going to disagree on things. That's okay. But as long as we're able to have conversations about, it, I'm a person that has a conversation. You know, I'm not stubborn. I'm not hard headed. Like I may give you a little pushback, but I'm not totally reserved to the point where I can't be convinced. So with all that being said, some of you say, well, the thing is, it'll be if and I know Pat, Pat Hacker said this in one of the comments, if he is guilty and if he did these things, then he deserves jail time. A lot of you say that and I just want to highlight a key word if. If a lot of you keep saying if, 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 if a person that says if is a person that is unsure, I'm unsure. I don't know for sure because I wasn't there. You don't know for sure because you weren't there. So we're, you have to say if, right? Well, at least you guys say if that implies that you're unsure about something, even though they did already have a, um, a trial and he was convicted. But you still have reasonable doubt. That is the point. There are still, they did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Bill Cosby, Dr. Bill Cosby is guilty. They did not. They convicted him based on he said, she said, which is basically all she said. That's it. That's how they got their conviction. The case was sealed and settled in 2004 or 2005. He paid Andrea Constan millions of dollars. She ran through that money then they brought the then they brought the case back up, unsealed the files just to try him again. Then they got a mistrial because why they couldn't convince people beyond a reasonable doubt that he was guilty. So they didn't get the outcome that they wanted. So they tried him a third time. Oh, well, is this the third time or technically the second time? Second or the third time. They tried him again just to get their conviction and they got it. You know how they got it? Because she said so. That's that's it. That's that's the whole reason they convicted him and he was found guilty by his by a jury of his peers because she said so. That's not justice. And if you care about these, I'm not said it before in my videos, but if you care about justice, if you care about our criminal justice system, if you care about black people, if you care about black men being lied on in America, if you cared about women and girls that are raped and sexually assaulted, then you should care that this man did not get a fair trial. This trial was illegal. The judge should have rec recused himself. He, he had it in for Bill Cosby. His wife is a sexual assault counselor. She had it in for Bill Cosby before it even started. The DA, Kevin Steele, ran his whole campaign on get, getting Bill Cosby. You know, I've actually went through the stories of these women and things don't add up. And by the way, most of these stories... Most of these stories are by are by women. They said that uh, Bill Cosby drugged them and she woke up half naked, panties around her ankles, and she was wet and he was humping her leg. Really? Like, come on, people. Like, these stories do not add up. They're hellish, shaky, and flimsy, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Now, another point that you guys like to bring up, you say, well... Why is it that all 60 plus women would come out and say the same thing about one person? Well, a lot of people say it was because he was trying to buy NBC. A lot of people say it's just, because, just because he's black and they wanted to railroad him. Look, I would be lying if I told you that I knew the exact reason. I don't. It's all speculation. All I know for sure is, excuse me, my acid reflex mess, uh, mess with me. All I know for sure is. This happens all too often. And I don't care about those statistics. Oh, 0.0% or 0.2% or 2% of uh, uh, rape accusers or actual or, you know, rape accusers are actually lying or something like that. I don't believe those stats because where I come from, that shit happens all too often. It is more than 
or whatever that bullshit ass percentage is. So I, I question those numbers, first of all. Second of all, you know, Bill Cosby is Bill Cosby. He had an ex-girlfriend come out and say that there's no way that these women are telling the truth, that he never touched her in any kind of way. He never drugged her. You know what I'm saying? Um, he never did anything, anything like that. There's Felicia, Felicia Rashad, multiple women, Raymond Simone, all these women came out and said that, look, if he was going to do anything, he would have did it to me. It would have happened to me. It would have happened to Felicia Rashad, his play wife on TV. Never happened. Okay. So that's just, you know, it's just all of these things put together. All of these people in the media wishing him death, hope that, hoping that he rots in jail and dies. Amber Rose talking about she hopes that he, he serves all 10 years and then gets out on the same day he gets out. She hopes that he dies. That's justice to you guys? That's justice? No, that's evil. If you guys can't see the contradiction in that, then I, I really don't know what to tell you because that's, that's not justice. <laughs> it's not justice. If it was a fair trial... And they had evidence to present. And it actually came out that he did these things to at least to one of these women. Then I would totally take back everything I said. I would apologize for anybody that I've offended. I would retract my statements and say, you know what? He deserves what he got. But it hasn't come out, people. They convicted him with no evidence. Sorry. They convicted him with no evidence. Nothing. Just she said. A crazy ass story. He was crucified in the media for what? Two, three years before he ever saw a day in court. But yet we still have all of these people calling this justice. It's unbelievable to me. Um, I'm going home and I'll try to record some more videos uh, because there's a lot on my mind about this. Free Bill Cosby. Free my, bo uh, my bro Millie Hustle. He just got thrown in jail off of some bullshit too. Not that kind of bullshit, but... <laughs> You know, Daz Dillinger from DPG, Dog Pound Gang, he just got picked up by the police off 13 felonies. 13 felonies in Atlanta for weed. For weed. That's it. That's all he had. That's all. They, a drug raid. And they found nothing but weed. 13 felonies. And of course, this comes right after he was making fun of Suge Knight from Death Row Records for getting 28 years in prison. <sighs> Everywhere we look, left and right, we getting black men locked up. I don't think there's anything to celebrate right now. All right, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, love from your hearts, peace in your souls, chicken grease in your tummy. Um, not too much chicken grease, that is. Uh, more vegetables, fruits, less fatty acids. Um, you know, no gluten. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. And if not, I hope you sincerely do better. We all need to do better. Let's all love. Let's all like really help each other through times and, and really prop each other up. Let's 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 just spread that. Let's just spread love and enlightenment. Cause we this week sucks. <laughs> I see you guys on the next one. All right, I'm out.